Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Bradley. And Bradman. <coughs> I hope this picture is a little bit better. It seems that my old webcam that Andy gave me is, is, is defunct still. And I still haven't had time to really mess with the new one. So, you're stuck with the laptop. And, yes, I just got done taking a shower about an hour ago. So, this is how the hair is. Okay? Okay. Anyway... It is October 22nd, 2017, Sunday evening at 10.37 p.m., people. And let me see what the weather is like. Dark. Dark? Dark. I'm trying to... Come on. Let's see. Let's see what weather is. It's dark. I wonder, Dorcas, you're going to hang up your clothes here a little bit? Uh, I was going to uh, was gonna do dishes. I was going to... But you'll hang up your work clothes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to do dishes. Okay. I was going to get the pork ready and make creamer. Okay. I'm just busy. Anyway, me. it is 77 degrees. Stop, stop trying to have them feel sorry for you. Real feel is 84. The high is 84. Low is 75. So that's all there is on that. Been home with hi ho all day, which has been very nice, and we have tomorrow still too. And um, we um, got up. Well, Brad got. What time did you get up, sweetie? Oh. I got up at eleven. I got up about nine. And he was outside with the two big dogs. Missy Mama was still sleeping in back with me, and then um uh. Um, I got dressed, went outside, and then we decided to go into town. Brad needed to uh, do some uh, stuff at work. He, he just needed to turn in payroll and some stuff, and I decided to ride along. And um, then, too, we decided that we needed more. We, li we really liked the laundry detergent pods and the fabric, fabric softener pods. I mean, we just... Basically, since we take our laundry down, you know, to the laundry room and to do it, so convenient. And we usually try to find a coupon, and yeah, we usually try to find a coupon at uh, Dollar General. Well, last time, how many pods were in the Tide one? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen, and it was a three dollar coupon, which still Brad paid two dollars. We thought that was a pretty good deal. Well, this time, though, he found one for Arm & Hammer. If you guys check your Dollar General, the digital coupon, it's a $3 coupon for the Arm & Hammer uh, laundry detergent pods. And it's a 32 count? Yep. 32 count. And that, and that right now they have one sale for three ninety five, so that brings it down to $0.95. Cent. So Brad loaded load the coupons on his phone and then I load the coupons on my phone so we stopped at two different locations and we're able to get two bags so hey you know we probably got laundry detergent for at least probably about three months probably, probably two months two months yep. probably about two months for two dollars I can't we can't beat that that made me very happy and um I spent about it and then I spent all day Brad we came home had some lunch, and I sat outside for a while and painted, and I just sat outside and just enjoyed the weather and stuff, and then, um, uh, Brad's been real tired, he didn't sleep worth a darn last night, I slept pretty good, but he didn't sleep worth a darn, and so, he went back and laid on the bed, and he ended up taking a three hour nap, um, I just let him sleep, because I know he was super tired. He'd been running on empty for quite a while, and um, I uh, um, sat out here, and, and basically all day I've worked on finishing this Dragon 5D, and I just finished it. I haven't even put put uh, Mod Podge on it yet, but this is this is the dragon. It'll be for one of my grandsons for Christmas, and I'll get it framed. Did you see it finished, honey? No, I did. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I know you think, gee, that little one, but eat. This is a full, full gem. And so yeah, so yeah, got that one done. Um, uh, it's kind of nice for a change of pace. 
And um, I have one more to make for for a Christmas gift for for relatives out of town. Um, and then um, I've got a few that I'm going to do for, he already knows about them, I'm going to do a few dragon ones I got for him. But, um, yeah. So that's all coming along. And Brad uh, did a couple loads of laundry. I'm going to go here in a minute and go back and fold them. And um, he made tacos for dinner. And what else, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Oh, did you combine those? Yeah. I yeah. Did. He's making creamer right now. Yeah, and this is the the caramel macchiato with. Uh, he got this time because he saved this big container, but it's actually cheaper to buy the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. And and he bought the he bought a caramel. Ma caramel macchiato. And what other kind? That was the only one. And he just mixed it with the regular creamer. Um, and then he uses, I know somebody's going to ask, so I'm going to go ahead and say, it's, a, it's you have to have almost boiling hot water. <laughs> hot, hot water. And a, it's like a cup of wa hot water to a cup of creamer. And then you, you, you shake that really well. Or you could put it in your blender or your bullet or whatever, you know. Or you could just stir it. Or you put it in a shaker bottle. And then, after you do that, you can add any extracts you want. Um, like, we have some sugar-free, uh, like, coffee syrup that, w that Brad will add. He will add some artificial sweetener, because if you're used to flavored creamers, liquid, they do add sweetener. And so, you know, it's up to you whether or not you want to. And then, um, uh, after you get done doing all that... You add a cup of cold water. So, Brad will do it two two cups to two cups to two cups, and then it'll it'll make um, a whole container of it, which will last me, you know, four or five days. God, my hair's curly tonight. Uh -huh. I forgot how curly, and I never already brushed it once, but how curly it'll get, you know. But anyway, um. But yeah, I was gonna I was going to I'm making the creamer. Mm-hmm. And the first cup of water I had to dump out because I uh, used tap water instead of filtered water. Oh, you forgot. Yeah. yeah. And so. then I'm going to um, cut up the pork. I'm going to cut them up into strips and uh, marinate them tonight, and we'll cook them out on the we, grill we buy We buy pork tenderloins yep. and when they're on sale, and then Brad cuts them into steaks. And then now he's cutting them into strips. And he, what are you going to marinate them with? I'm not sure. I'm going to look through what we have. We got some more bottles back there too. Okay. Teriyaki would be good. Do you well, think? Well, I did the la I did the chicken and teriyaki not that long ago. Yeah. But so. you're going to marinate it in something. Mm -hmm. And um, then he's going to grill them tomorrow afternoon. But we were going to go fishing tomorrow morning. But high tide is at four something in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and then at five five fifty one at night. Five fifty one tomorrow night. So we'll go tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll head out and, about five ish. Ooh, we'll be going. It'll be getting dark. I know. Too. I'll get to watch the bats out there. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah. we'll have to see where we're going. Might just go on the pier. Yeah. Either way. I don't know. Pier doesn't do much. Yeah. Pier doesn't seem to do much at all. But anyway, we'll figure out where we're going. Um, but yeah, we had a good day. Uh -huh. Like I said, I just, I just, um, I was watching, um, Grey's Anatomy on, um, uh, um, the TV, um, and, uh, while he was taking a nap, I finally went back and woke him up yeah. at 5.30. I'm like, honey, he's sleeping for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> You know, because like I was afraid if I let him sleep any longer, he wouldn't be able to sleep tonight. But he was just, he was running on empty. How, tell him how many hours did you put in, and in, in, is that in eight days? In eight days, 90, 94 hours. In eight, in eight days. days, he put in 94 hours to get that store open. Yeah. Um, but he's really loving loving that job, and I know we've already said that. But, yeah, he's really loving the job, and um, couldn't be happier with it. So, you know. I'm I'm amazed. I mean, I've been out of the business for 
seven years. Yeah. And I am just so amazed at how much has changed in seven years. Yeah. You know. And then how much has it too, right? What? And how some of the stuff is still the same. Yep. Yep. Yeah, some of the bottles have not changed a bit. Yeah. You know, but most of that is the stuff that's... Jim you know, Beam and... That's yeah. the, the way they've been doing the bottles for the last hundred years. Yeah. And yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, yeah, I just thought I'd come on here and tell you guys, you know, give you guys an update. Tell you that we're, we're doing fine. I feel like we're finally going to make some progress on some of our hopes and dreams and... Uh, you know, but we're living in the present, not in the past, not in the future. Yep. You know, we're hopeful, but, you know, we're making the most out of each day. And I think that's what we all have to do because you're not guaranteed a tomorrow. And you can't live in the past because you just stay stuck. Have you told them about our neighbor that passed away? Oh, yeah, they know. Okay. Yeah. I, couldn't, I didn't know. It. Yeah, they know. We've had three, three people in the park pass away. When, yeah. And, you know, there's some other elderly people that are gone that we think. Oh, Jimmy, we think he went back up, and he was the guy that had the heart problems that were laid off and everything. Um, uh, um, but uh, we think he went back up with family in uh, Georgia. He has some family in Georgia because his trailer and everything's gone. So, good. Wish him well. Hope he does well. Yeah. You know, so... Um, <clears throat> But anyway, I'm ever so grateful for the um, uh, uh, air conditioner, the window air conditioner. That dehumidifier makes so much difference. We had a couple small dehumidifiers the first summer. Uh, Marcy had gotten us one, and then... Um, uh, our daughter had gotten this one, and but they both just stopped working and stuff. Yeah. But that de deep that dehumidifier makes it ever so nice, and I bet you we saved some electricity. Oh yeah. We don't have. I haven't used the overhead. Um, I used it two nights when we first got the air conditioner, yep. and I haven't. You know, I may end up using it tonight. I don't know because it's only getting down to seventy five tonight. We'll see, but um. Probably won't need to. Uh, but anyway, that's all I got. Say, so you got anything to say? Yeah. What? Oh, it, I overfilled it. Uh oh. This bottle was a lot. Are you making a mess everywhere? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, he broke the trundle bed. He was pulling on it, trying to get out. I don't know what he was trying to get out. Trying to get something out. Yeah, the tools so I could fix that. Uh, yeah, he tried to fix something out. Broke the strap on that. So, you know. This what was that? Huh. It was like a bright light on the air conditioner. Or on the, on the ice maker. Unless it was a light just went out. Oh no, it was weird. Anyway. That's all I have to say, guys. Remember that I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. <laughs>